Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm on my quest for England. And in my quest for England, I'm looking for the grave of an English gentleman who died 38 years of old age, uh, who was a naturalist, a conservationist, and a writer of some well-renowned, and somebody who inspired people like William, um, sorry, Hen Henry Williamson, who wrote Tarka the Otter, and other novelists, to look at nature, and particularly the world in England, and actually study things like the flowers, the landscape, that sort of thing. I'm looking for the grave of Richard Jeffries. And I'm standing in Broadwater and Worthing Cemetery on a glorious sunny day in April during the lockdown uh, of the COVID-19 um, outbreak here in the UK and across the world. I tried to get here a couple of days ago, uh, actually yesterday when I did this because I'd pulled muscles in my back. Um, but I feel a bit better today, so I thought I'd venture in, see if I could find the grave. This is a, a large cemetery in Worthing, and it opened in 1863. It has a, a number of notable people, and it's the sort of place that I dare say I shall come back and have a look and see if I can find other graves. The other grave that I might try to find today is that of Mary Hughes, the original Mary, who was in fact the Mary from Mary Had a Little Lamb. I think there is probably some debate whether that's really the, the actual Mary, but that's what a lot of people believe, uh, certainly around here, and why wouldn't you? So we're gonna try and find that now. The cemetery is divided into bays, and they've all got numbers. There's a map at the beginning. Now, what I've done is I've come in at the south entrance, so I've got to try and locate exactly where I am. Fortunately, there are some signs. And here we go. I think this is Mary Hughes. So we've managed to find her straight away. Mary Hughes, in loving memory, of Mary Hughes, who passed away in 1931. Heroine of the nursery rhyme, Mary had a little lamb. So that was quite, that was an easy one to find. And actually it helps because there's actually, as I say, a few signs here, Mary Hughes, which helps uh, people come along and have a look. And actually, I know that the uh, friends of Broadwater Cemetery, who look after the place, they do guided tours now Presumably at the moment they're not doing them because of the lockdown situation. But they do do guided tours and they'll take you to prominent people who lived in Worthing. There are some amazing gravestones to look at. For example, this one here with this enormous scroll which is very beautiful. And it's a very peaceful place. Barely hear any traffic. Not that there is a lot of traffic at the moment anyway because of this lockdown. But beautiful bird song on this rather warm spring day. Now, probably the best way for me to find Richard Jeffries' is, um, grave is to head back to the original entrance, or the, um, I suppose, the, the west entrance, which is the proper entrance with the chapel, and then work my way round and follow a map that I actually have in my pocket. There's some holly trees here, some fir trees, looks like some holm oaks, and uh, obviously there's going to be the uh, trees that you always see in graveyards yew trees and numerous other ones which is rather splendid and I imagine throughout the year they look absolutely gorgeous 
this graveyard is, uh, is enormous and you can imagine it'd be very easy to get lost in here but uh, what a great way to spend an afternoon or a morning of course looking for certain notable people's graves I think actually I've just seen a sign that is pointing me in the right direction these would be a couple of the most popular graves here there's a sign up ahead I think you might just see it, it says Richard Jeffries little would he have known of course in his time just how popular uh, he was going to be he, he was born I think in the village of Cote in Swindon in Wiltshire and he moved I think down to Hove and then later to Goring because he suffered from tuberculosis it wasn't initially um, prescribed or diagnosed rather um, but he died young 38 sadly and just before we get there let's have, just have a look at some of these other names that are here for people whose relatives are living in Worthing we've got Mary Price who died in 1887 81 years Jacob Tester fascinating name there who departed this life in 1885 um, he was only 45 years old and what have we got we've got Eileen Tester and William Prince fantastic but what I've come to see is this grave here Richard Jeffries it says at the front here to the honored memory of the prose poet of England's fields and woodlands John Richard Jeffries who died at Goring August the 14th 1887 aged 38 and it must be one of the uh, most visited graves I would imagine in this graveyard for those people who knew who he, who he was um, looks like the daughter was buried there in 19 or some relation I don't know who the others are to be honest with you that's showing my ignorance isn't it but there it is clearly it's attended um, I don't know whether members of the family relations or just um, members of the uh, Richard Jeffries Society that uh, look after and preserve his work or just people who admire him come and obviously put their flowers down well I'm going to wander back out of the graveyard now it's actually there's quite a few people dotted about I mean it's a great place if you want a bit of solitude to come in and just ponder really at all the people in the grave in the graveyard who were they perhaps if you have relations distant relations they may well be here I don't know that it's actually in use today as a graveyard whether there's any spaces left or anything but um, who knows I think that in order to end this though I should just end up at the chapel and leave and show you what that looks like so I shall make my way up there now I have to say that is an extraordinary looking tree I don't know what that is but if I pan from it we'll see just over there is the the chapel entrance and I'll, uh, I'll take a little walk down to the and through the entrance past all these absolutely amazing graves and headstones there's some it's wonderful to see the flowers here there's some primroses up ahead and then there's this little avenue of yew trees just in front of me here that take you right the way through which really if my back hadn't been as poorly as it was I would have walked all the way around to that entrance to come in but there we can start to hear the noise of fans I think of some description 
and come out towards the entrance. And behind me, as it says up above, Broadwater and Worthing Cemetery. Now if you do come here and you come in this main entrance, what is helpful is actually a layout. There are leaf leaflets here. Let's just have a quick walk around to the layout here so that you can see who is where. Certain ones I think are marked with a star. Possibly they're the ones who've got the little white signs, I don't know. Then you've got the Commonwealth graves and they're all, they're all marked up so you can check that. And as we are in the spring, here again, I think this is cherry, I'm not sure. Beautiful, beautiful cherry color on the trees. I walked through Homefield Park the other day, looking at the trees in Homefield Park, and it's just so splendid and so rewarding and uplifting to see this color. Especially as we've, we're in this time of great crisis. Um, just briefly, you can tell it's a cherry because of the bark on this here, this sort of lines that they have. I don't know what type of cherry this is, but it might be wild bird cherry. But I can tell you, it is in beautiful blossom. How about that? <clears throat> well, that's just my look, a quick ramble around the graveyard. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's not terribly well researched, I'm afraid, but once we're out of uh, the crisis, to be honest, I came up here, I didn't even know if it was gonna be open because everything's on lockdown, but it, I'm so thrilled it was. So if you live in the area, it's well worth coming and having a look. And if not, and you do visit Worthing, then equally, it's worth coming down and having a look. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Become a patron and I will see you on another video somewhere at some time. Till then, bye-bye.